when when you changed your name to Kelly Kelly, uh, mm-hmm. I was asking, I was thinking, I'm like, when like when he when she was dating him at the time, and it was getting close to like you know <laughs> answering the questions, you're we like, oh shit, they're like I'm gonna have two <laughs> first names. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. I, uh, actually he tricked me. I didn't know that Kelly was his last name for like the first, I don't know, month or so that we were talking. How do you know know that? (laughs) Because we originally, it was all long distance. It was, we met in a gym originally, but we saw each other for like a day and, um, And then we just kind of started chatting online It started like trash talking about open workouts and, you know, um, that kind of like slowly turned into flirting and turned it, you know, kind of snowballed from there, but it was mostly like, you know, Instagram messages and and things like that. And his Instagram handle at the time was Lance Steele. And so I thought his last name was Steele. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Kelly Steele has a great ring to it. <laughs> I, I like that. I do like yeah. that. Yes. 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 Yeah. And by the time I, uh, when I realized his last name was Kelly, I actually swore him to secrecy. I wouldn't let him tell my teammates because I was like, you cannot, I will never hear the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's hilarious. So, um, I know you said you guys met at a gym. So mm-hmm. were you, was, were you guys in California or where, where were you guys when you first met? Uh, we were in California. Uh, I was trading out of um, what was then Diablo Moxie in San Jose. And um, he was working for, I don't know if you remember, Paleo Ethics. Was, yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. Supplement company that used to sponsor the CrossFit Games. Um, and so he was their like event sales athlete manager guy. Mm. Um, and he was doing like a California tour. He was just like bouncing from dim to dim all the way up California um, but he's Canadian. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. So we met in a gym while he was doing like a sample day and he jumped into one of our workouts and yeah, that was it. I, I, for, for a second, before you said he was uh, Canadian, I, I really thought he was Irish. Cause like the last name yeah. Kelly and I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, he might be from Ireland, and then you know, yeah, he's hard... like two generations removed from Ireland, but okay. Irish Canadian, okay. yeah. <laughs> All right, very cool, very cool. So, um, so what? So, with the marriage and everything like that. So, how did he propose? And and like, was it like eventful? Was it in a box? Or like, where where was the yeah. engagement? Uh, well, the engagement was super eventful. Uh, I guess. Well, I guess it was eventful for us. Um, but it was cool. It, um, we were actually in Brazil for the Brazil CrossFit championship and, um, we had just finished competing. We missed the games by one spot. (laughs) So we, um, but we planned to stay an extra week in, in like the Northern beaches area, just to have some vacation time Mm -hmm. after we were done competing. Um, and, we hiked up to this like beautiful waterfall area. It was a little bit of a treacherous hike. There were like warning signs for yellow fever and we like, but we found this waterfall um, and we're swimming around the waterfall and Lance for some reason is like getting really sketchy about going in the water. (laughs) um, He like, didn't want to go in the water. And when he did, he was like swimming really awkwardly. I was getting very concerned that he was like going to go over the waterfall. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And um, and eventually he like comes out on this rock um, and he just, you know, got down on one knee and proposed that he was swimming awkwardly because he was trying to figure out how to not lose the ring. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yep. Yeah. So he proposed under a waterfall in Brazil. That's awesome. So uh, that's kind of like, I mean, that's more eventful than my proposal yeah. to my wife. So, so we were like big bike riders at the time. And so I, I, I called off sick to work so I can go by the ring and go home. And so the next day we went on a bike trip. And so we went to, I think it was, we parked someplace and then we went to Gloucester, Massachusetts. Cause we were living in New Hampshire at the time. Okay. And so, and so I was like trying to get her all fired up for some reason. I was just like, Hey, I didn't go to work that day, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, and she's like, what do you mean? And then like, it wasn't, she wasn't really like getting pissed. She's like, what the, what the fuck's wrong with you? Part of my French. And so she's like, 
like what's going on and so i i went down on one knee and proposed to her right in front of like the gloucester fisherman in gloucester massachusetts and so <laughs> she was like well i mean she was shocked so you didn't realize yeah. what was going to happen and the whole time before that so i'm wearing a bike jersey and i had the ring in the box wrapped up in a t-shirt and just tucked it in one of the back pockets mm -hmm. and so and so i told i told her i'm like listen you need to stay in front of me the whole time because you know i don't want anything to happen to you you know and you could blatantly see the box out of the back of the <laughs> back of the shirt and so i was just like i was like you gotta stay up front and so finally like i took it out and it was like I was like, Hey, I need to go to the bathroom. So I tucked it. I, I typically, if we're like going to sit down and eat, I put shorts on. Cause I'm wearing biker shorts. It's a little awkward to be yeah. honest with you. Like, I don't know. I don't know how all those old dudes do it, but I, I'm like, I got to wear shorts. So I put shorts on yeah. and I put the ring inside the compression shorts. So she wouldn't realize it. Cause like when we were walking, she put her hands behind my back. And so she actually, yeah, if it was still there, she would have noticed it. But, um, well, so of course she said yes. And um, we were riding back and she had two flat tires. Oh no. On the way back. And so I like I fixed the <laughs> I fixed the first one. And then oh, all of a sudden like it happened. Yeah, it happened again. <laughs> and then it another flat, and I'm like sitting there like crap. And then like before that, she's like riding her bike and the handlebars, and she, you could see her go like this. Yeah. And like look, look at it, looking at the ring. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I'm like, eyes of the road. Eyes of yeah. the road. And then, so finally the she had two flat tires. And I literally had to like she had to park underneath the tree. And I had to like literally speed to the back of the car to get her get her back. And oh, I'm like, no. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. She's like, I don't even care. Yeah. So I mean that that's Nothing if that's can the touch worst thing. Today. Yeah. yeah, if that's the worst thing, I'll I'll take it. So yeah. but um but That's yeah, so awesome. once you got proposed uh, mm -hmm. and you said yes, so like how far along was it before you actually had a ceremony or anything like that? Well, we after that, we have done everything backwards. Uh, <laughs> um, we actually have not had a um, an actual wedding yet. <laughs> OK, um, hopefully that will happen someday. But we. Um, we had to do the legal wedding. We did the legal wedding actually pretty quickly after that, maybe a few months later, um, because like I said, he's Canadian. And so we had to start the green card process. So we were like, okay, do like the thing at the courthouse with the paperwork to start his green card application. Um, and then COVID happened and everything got shut down. Yeah. And so his green card got frozen. The consulates were all closed for like, six months or more um his green card took like a year and a half longer than we thought because everything went back up and they were backed up um and so we were living in two different countries and i was like i'm not planning a wedding in while we're like in two different countries yeah, like not you know, like, yeah. um yeah he couldn't he wasn't allowed to like live or work in the united states yet so like we were like coming back and forth on visitors visas and um yeah, so then he finally got here. Um, he got here, his green card, two, a little over two years ago now. Okay. Um, yeah, and honestly, like, it's just been like, all right, now we're settling in and building careers and starting to plan a family and kind of like weddings, like, so far. Yeah. Like, we got married so far <laughs> in the past that we're like, do we have a wedding now? Like, is it? <laughs> Save, save, save your money, save your money. Like, I know it's kind of a weird thing to, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so my wedding only had 55 people in the wedding. Nice. And so yeah. like super small, like I wasn't really expecting, like, I, I didn't want too many people. Yeah. And so, and I thought 55 was great. And like, I think we, I think in total was like 10 grand or something like that. Yeah. That's awesome. But like weddings are stupid expensive they're stupid expensive and we're not like big event people anyway that's not yeah. really like our jam um but we are big on like you know having our family with us and you know like we have close family connections but it gets hard because we like his family's all in canada i have a really mm. big family they're all over the u.s you know he's super social he has friends everywhere um so there's a lot of like international travel that has to happen like how mm. do you have a small event with all of that it, like kind of just doesn't work like yeah. the smallest we can make it is still <laughs> way bigger than we want it to be <laughs> so 
Yeah. I, I had a friend, I had a friend, I had a friend of mine that was actually in the wedding. He actually did a plus one and I'm like, buddy, you haven't had a girlfriend in like more than, <laughs> more than a year. And who's your plus one? Who? some random person. And I'm like, no, you can't, you can't pull no. that stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm like, I, I, I'm like, we can't afford that. So I hate to bring it to you, but yeah. um, yeah, I, I mean, it's great and all to have like pictures and right. all that stuff, but it's just like, I mean, we've been together for like 13 years. Yeah. And so it's like, never never put the wedding dress on it's like literally sitting in a container down here in the basement <laughs> so it's like she's like i might just get rid of it i'm like no keep it and i'm like but then i'm like realize that i'm like you thought about putting it on <laughs> yeah, i'm like i'm like I'm like what are you what are you gonna do with it i'm like i don't know maybe give it to give it to our daughter who knows <laughs>